Welcome to my video tutorial. We are going to learn about ANSA Cervicalis. ANSA Cervicalis is basically a nerve loop. Let's see its formation. It is formed by the branches from ventral rami of C1, C2 and C3 spinal nerves. Branch from C1 spinal nerve enters into hypoglossal nerve and runs within it for a short distance. Then it leaves the nerve descends vertically known as descendants hypoglossi. Similarly, branches from C2 and C3 unite to form a nerve which descends vertically parallel to descendants hypoglossi known as descendants cervicalis. Both the nerves unite to form a loop known as ansa cervicalis. Descendants hypoglossi is also known as superior root whereas descendants cervicalis also known as inferior root of ansa cervicalis. Let's see the location of ansa cervicalis. It is situated in front of carotid sheath within the carotid triangle of anterior triangle of the neck. Let's understand that from this image. Here is the sternocleidomastoid muscle cut and reflected. Here is the hyoid bone with posterior belly of digastric muscle and here is the superior belly of homohyoid muscle which form the boundaries of carotid triangle within the anterior triangle of the neck. Here is the ansa cervicalis with its superior root and inferior root surrounding the contents of carotid sheath which are internal jugular vein, common carotid artery and vagus nerve lying deep to the vein. The point to be understood here is superior root lies more in superficial plane than the inferior root which surrounds the lateral margin of internal jugular vein. Now let's see the branches coming from ansa cervicalis. It gives muscular branches to infrahyoid muscles. They are a branch to sternothyroid muscle a branch to sternohyoid muscle and a branch to inferior belly of homohyoid muscle. So there are three muscles which are supplied by ansa cervicalis. Apart from this, superior belly of homohyoid muscle also supplied by a branch from descendants hypoglossi. That is about formation, location and branches of ansa cervicalis. Thanks for watching. Keep learning.